Welcome back everybody to the Kirby's Epic Yarn Playthrough. This is part three, and we're going to be continuing on with more of Grassland. Um, now that we're done with Rainbow Falls. Okay, that was a little bit of a weird video error there. Um, but before we do that, we're going to go head back to Quilty Square. And we're going to play a little hide and seek with Zeke. Because, you know, it's fun and, and I think you have to do that to get stuff to, I guess, to complete the game 100%. But, you know, they're pretty fun, nonetheless. Pretty simple and straightforward, you know, like I said before. Game is very simple and straightforward, just in case anybody didn't get that last time. Okay, so we're going to be going through this level once again with the area with the water fall. Okay. Yeah, great, awesome. <laughs> It's like, I I feel like this shouldn't be hard, but for some reason, I find it hard, and I don't know why. But, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna continue on, and we're gonna get through this, you know, little by little. Some things being harder than they should be, but, you know, uh, we'll get... We'll get through it, okay? <laughs> you know, I'm really wishing that there was some sort of a double jump function or, you know, like an inflate function, but uh, unfortunately not, so I have to take the long, long way back across these platforms. Make sure very carefully we jump across them to get our second little guy. And, um... Uh, oh, there's the... Oh, oh, sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Oh, free thing. Free stuff. I gotta collect it. I do like how the Waddle Dees don't seem to actually hurt you. I'm not going to get that, am I? No, of course not. <laughs> I do like how the little Waddle Dees don't actually hurt you. Although, I, I think it's when they do that little dash thing. Oh, there's a little umbrella there. That's very, very kind, very thoughtful. And to bring that little umbrella there. Hey, what are you doing taking a shower back there? We're playing hide and seek. All right, I found all my friends. And uh, there you go. Those are those are my friends. Got nine nine beads, and we're done with that hide and seek maneuver game, game o. Found this while I was hiding. Okay, what is it? Rainbow dot fabric. Okay, this is what is this? Oh, I think. Oh, that's right. C Kirby has his own apartment. I think this is something that you can use to um, customize it, and you know. Spruce it up, make it fancier, make it the way you want. They give you plenty of options, apparently. You do more hide and seek, you get more options for your apartment. That's, you know, that's... How could you possibly ask for anything more than that? I mean, really. Alright, so we're going past that little question uh, door. I'm not quite sure what was going on there. Uh, to the Big Bean Vine, which we unlocked at the end of the last video. Now, I'm going to be completely honest and straightforward with you guys, you know, I'm gonna... I, I'm, I'm gonna be transparent with you. This is actually my second attempt at doing this level. Uh, I did a little bit of fancy editing. Um, what happened was, I'm gonna point out the part of the stage that, you know, kinda, kinda messed me up. Um, but we'll get there when we get there. In the meantime, we're jumping on the big bean vine. Going up and up and up, as you would imagine. A, big bean vine would entail, you know, like Jack and the Beanstalk and whatnot. Hey, you there, no sleeping on the job. That's not okay. Oh, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on with those little video errors. Um, I, it might be my Elgato. Uh, like, this was a long time ago I recorded, unfortunately. I know. It's been a while. Uh, but as of late, I've been noticing that my Elgato has been showing some problems, maybe showing, showing some age, um, and this might have been when it started, all these years ago. So we got the lattice there, that was actually the part of the stage that messed me up. This particular little white zipper here, which, by the way, these are zippers that we're standing upon for little platforms. If you go past that white zipper, you cannot go back. And I didn't get the lattice. I knew there was something there, I didn't grab it, and then I couldn't go back. So I said, you know what? I'm getting that thing, and I'm starting the level over. So there, that's what I did. Got a little fabric-y CD 
for the big bean vines. Background music. Oh my goodness! Whoa, my... Wow! <laughs> a little... little thready, fabric-y fireball there. Very dangerous. At least it moves very slowly, so, you know, it's easy enough to dodge. Um, but yeah, we got a little fabric-y CD for the music of Big Bean Vine. This is a really beautiful song. I really, really, really do like this song. This is probably one of my favorites in the game. Um, I didn't upload this to Weekend Music or anything. I only ever uploaded one song to Weekend Music from this game, which was, in, oddly enough, the Apart music. So yeah, there, w there was another little video error there. I don't... I, yeah, I guess it's just gonna happen. Just a few times or something. Hopefully not too many times. What is going on? What is that thing? Was it like a, a big caterpillar? A big grub? Like, what What happened there? Like, why was he, he was spitting out string? Maybe it's a big caterpie. Oh, yeah, okay, now... Now I'm on board, see? <laughs> Once I figure things out into, you know, kind of mechanics that I can understand, like, you know, Caterpie from Pokemon. Yes, now I get it. String shot and stuff. If there's anything that I really don't like in video games, it's endlessly spawning enemies. Um, obviously, it's necessary for this part of the stage, but I don't appreciate it. I... Oh, what happened there? <clears throat> I was on the balloons and then the balloons popped. Oh, I see. Oh, you can't stand on the balloons for too long. Oh. Okay, that kind of got me there. Wasn't, Couldn't remember how the mechanics of this stage worked, but hey. Got this little button, button fly guy. And he's, he's out of here. I don't even know where he went. Was that him? Did he just explode, like, at the top of the screen? <laughs> and then fall? <laughs> Very strange. So you have to be careful with these balloons, I see, because apparently Kirby's so heavy that um, standing on those balloons will deflate the helium. Also, what did that Cloud Pillow item say? It was like a 99% chance of getting good sleep or something? That's... that's good. I like that. You know, I've never actually had a Cloud Pillow in my life, but, you know, I'd imagine it would be quite comfy. Oh, dear. Oh, goodness, right at the end there. <laughs> Almost, almost lost it right at the end. I think, yeah, I think I have enough for the maximum medal there. I get the gold medal. I think that's the best you can get. Oh, and I get the the noob reward, but whatever, it's okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> okay. The game was incredibly generous to me right there. <laughs> Gave me the, the super good bonus there instead of the noob bonus. And I got some sort of water pail or something. Alright, there we go. So, I think that is the maximum. I, I could have sworn there was like a platinum medal or something. Maybe I'm just making that up. Anyway, we got the gold medal. We got all three treasures. And uh, we collected plenty of stuff because that's very important. Oh yeah, watering can. Okay. Uh, very important for me in video games. I love collecting stuff. Hey, another hide and seek with Zeke is available. That sounds like a fun idea. But first, we're going to use this pail here so that we can water the big bean that we had already in the ground and make the vine grow even taller. Oh, that looks ominous. Oh dear. Wow, that noise. <laughs> Fangora! If that's any indication, this is our first boss battle of the game. And uh, it's one that I'm actually really excited about. But first, we have to do the very important hide and seek with Zeke. Like I said, you know, it's you just it, just to get it out of the way. You know, just that. Out of the way. Give me ten thousand beads. I'll add another floor to Quilty. Okay. okay, interesting. I'm not quite sure what that's gonna do, but again, I assume that for the um, purposes of 100% completing the game, you have to do that. Alright, so now we're going to play Hide and Seek with Zeke on Big Bean Vine. We only get one minute. So, that's... okay. Let's see, what do we got? What is... okay. Oh, we got to go in the background. Oh, there's... okay, there's the first one. That was pretty simple. Oh, we got to do this portion of the area again, right after the little Caterpie that was there. Yes, of course. <laughs> Caterpie. <laughs> now I understand everything. 
You know, you just, like, that's that's my way of understanding anything in the entire world. Like, you know, just say, oh, Caterpie, and be like, oh, okay, now I get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, thermal dynamics, Caterpie. Oh, now I understand. Okay, I gotcha. Alright, so it looks like we're just doing this in this one tiny little area here. We got four, and there's the last one. Right, that was very quick. Makes sense now why you only got one minute. I honestly, that was a little a little troubling there when I couldn't get the second one. I had to go in and out of the background there to kind of figure out what I had to do. But, uh, hey, you know, got it and got it completed in time. Okay, now we get another wallpaper, neutral dot fabric. Oh, well, it, it is very neutral and it does have dots, so, you know, it's, 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 it's legitimate, you know. No, no lying going on here. Just neutral dots all the way. All right, so I believe now we're going to go back and we're going to battle Fangora. Which, like I mentioned, is the very first boss of the game. Just look at look at how the vine just like <laughs> it just dies out there. Oh, what is? I'm not quite sure what that does yet. Probably does something later. But, uh, yes, now we go and battle Fangora, the big, scary yarn dragon! Here he comes. I love this song. Oh, my goodness. Alright, he's a, he's a spooky one. <laughs> you could just tell how, how much I was enjoying this music. Oh, no! Oh, that's... okay. So, I believe I mentioned this multiple times before in this playthrough. This is my very first time playing this game, so I wasn't 100% sure what to expect. But uh, we got to deal with this mechanic here. Okay. He kind of shoots up from the bottom of the screen there, telegraphed by the clouds popping up. Kind of tells you what area he's going to pop up from. And he does another roar. And then he... Oh! Okay, the flap is went. Oh, okay, he does something different now. Yeah, he has little meteor-looking fireballs. Um, now, the fireballs, I jumped over them. You can do something with the fireballs, but I'm going to show that off a little bit later. Uh, for now, though, we're just going to deal with the basic mechanics of dealing with this boss. Whoa! All right, that was a, a little close. Good thing Car Kirby is just so dang quick, he can, you know, he can... Go zero to sixty, out of the way. Okay, and he flaps his wings again. Oh, and then he does his little hook tongue thing again. Whoa. Oh, okay. That was, and that was yeah. That was it. <laughs> that was that was the Fangora boss. Now, it, from the OST, what I understood is that. As the battle goes on longer, which, honestly, I can't imagine it would go much longer than that, uh, the music gets faster. Actually, oh no, it doesn't go, get faster, it goes up a half step each time. So it, it rises in pitch. Alright, so we got the Fangora Fabric CD. Because, you know, again, it's a fantastic song. I love that song. We did it! We got the magic yarn! Oops. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. Okay. So that's what we just got off of Fangora. Oh, I see now. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do here. Grumble, grumble. Kirby's tummy was <laughs> growling, so he went searching for food. Too bad there aren't any tomatoes up here, he thought. Suddenly, the tree started rocking back and forth. Oh, no. Kirby thought it was an earthquake, until he saw Prince Fluff shaking the tree. <laughs> this is how we get food in Patchland. Kirby tried to hang on for as long as he could. Hang on, Kirby. Very long at all. Oh. <laughs> Look at all that, Fluff cried. Kirby was so angry that he ran after Fluff. <laughs> he chased him for so darn long that he forgot all about being hungry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Well, that's Kirby for you. I would introduce you to my brothers. Oh, goodness, there's more of this guy. <laughs> All right. Apparently there's more of them. All right. Oh, cool. Okay, so now we can move on to World 2, the Hot Land. But before we do that, we're going to go back into the Fangora fight. Uh, because um, I didn't get the gold medal there. And so I'm gonna, going to, you know, redo it again and explain how to do that. Um, so yeah, it was a, a little, I was a little confused at first as to, you know, like what that glowy yarn was that Fangora turned into. And then, then when I saw the little cutscene thing happening, then I understood what, what's going on here and what we're trying to accomplish. Whoop. Alrighty. So... Now that I'm, a, you know, a pro now at dealing with this boss fight, uh, I know exactly what to do, and how to beat it, and how to be the best, because I'm going to show you how to be the best, like no one ever was! Wow. I don't know exactly how the mechanics of that particular attack works. I assumed that he shoots up from wherever your current position is, but it seems like it, it's either random or he does have some sort of leading mechanic. Now that's the extra thing that you can do with the fireballs. You just kind of grab one with your yarn whip and throw it back at him, and he'll explode into a ton more beads. And then with all of that collected, then you'll be able to get the gold medal. Just like that, easy peasy. It was just that one little extra thingy that I didn't do. And now I did it, so there you go. That's how the pros do it, baby. All right, this should be the last hit here. Obviously we know what's coming. He's gonna roar, he's gonna flap his wings, and then he's gonna shoot his hook tongue three times. Uh, or he's going to shoot fireballs again. All right, Fangora, just, you know, way to make a liar out of me. <laughs> All right. Well, then I got past the gold medal. I'm, what? I'm not sure what that blue thing is. But that was hit number three. So there, there we go. We're done. Oh, well, we got another magic yarn. So, hey, we get to go on to world three now. <laughs> uh, if only it worked that way. <laughs> I do love their little dance numbers. They are fantastic. Alrighty, so from bronze to silver to gold, we got it all. We got it on lock, as the kids say. <laughs> Nobody says that anymore. Oh, that's what we got, the mole patch. Okay, so we got an extra... Oh, that's... Okay, so we actually had to go back into that fight again to get that patch to unlock the little question mark uh, thing that was there. We saw earlier. Ah, oh, look at that. He just kind of... Digs it away, that's adorable. And that unearths just enough to allow us into the mole hole level. So that's going to be it for this part of the Kirby Epic Yarn playthrough. Join me in part th 4, <laughs> where we'll be doing more of Grassland. See you all next time.